Maitreya Miranda. The term Maitreya is taken from Buddhist mythology. It's the idea of a future Buddha. And there are several other people who take the term Maitreya for their title, including a guy called Ronald Spencer, who lives in California, who calls himself Buddha Maitreya. Now, why have they taken this myth? Within New Age and other ill-informed practices, they associate the idea of a coming Buddha, which is the idea of the future Buddha, they associate it with the idea of the Christ. So they're saying that they're both the second coming of Jesus and yet another coming of the Buddha. Many people have claimed to be the new Buddha. Every so often a guru pops up in India or in Southeast Asia and they claim to be the Buddha or people claim of them that they must be this high and most enlightened being. With the New Age movement, many people, perhaps less informed, have also said the same. Many psychics and mediums claim to have the Buddha, or one of the Buddhas, as their spiritual guide. But also many people claim to channel this higher source. And a smaller number actually claim to be the new incarnation of the Buddha. The people who hijack such terms as Maitreya don't even seem to have actually researched what it actually means what it refers to. They might understand it comes from Buddhism, but they don't actually look at Buddhist mythology to understand the connotations of such a term and the context of its meaning. So when such people as Miranda speak to me and say that they carry the title Maitreya as part of their spiritual journey, I think in many ways they're simply borrowing from different cultures, taking words that seem to fit somewhat what they think they do, and using them in a very wrong way. When it comes down to Ron Spencer, so-called Buddha Maitreya in California, he's far worse. I would say he's far worse than Miranda, because he is literally saying that he is the Buddha, as well as the Christ. So he's going one step further, at the very least. Whereas Miranda's view is, she's channeling a level of consciousness so basically, what we're talking about is quite simply another example of New Age practitioners taking words they don't fully understand and using them poorly. Now, it's very easy for some people out there to point to scientific words used poorly. But if their so-called spiritual words are also used poorly, it points to a very unstable foundation for the entire premise of the New Age movement.